Hello, Lash Babes. Welcome back. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm so excited for today's video. We're going to be talking about all that's on my lash cart. That is a video that you guys have been requesting, so I'm excited to bring it to you. Leave a comment down below if there's anything else you guys would like to see about my lash space, and let's just get into the video. Welcome to the lash cart. Um, honestly, it's really not that organized or cute or anything like that, but it works for my life. So I'm gonna run through everything I keep on my cart and what my must-haves are. First off, the must-have is your barbicide jar. You need to have something to keep your barbicide in. This jar, I actually think I got from TJ Maxx, and then I put my Dear Lash Love stickers all over it for every shirt that I get. Um, from the Dear Lash Love subscription. So next to my Barbicide jar, we have my little organization tray. This is from Amazon and I will link it below. I absolutely love it. It works perfectly and I love that it has a little tape cutter, um, but I'll walk you through everything I have. So in here, um, these are my lip ones. We have the, um, what are these? Lash wands. These ones are the cute little pink sparkly ones. We have glue rings. We have my glue, my glue removers, tweezers. This is glue remover or yeah, lash remover, glue remover. Um, we have primer and then this is um, the Lash by Teeny Perfect Speed. So you put this on your lashes before you start lashing if you are in a low humidity climate and it just helps your glue like not ride up on the lashes. It helps your fan stay in place and it doesn't take forever for your glue to dry. And then right now we are using the Lash Bomb Bomb Diggity Glue. I absolutely love this glue. It's honestly, I'm gonna say it's my favorite only because it's super consistent. Now, since I've been using the Perfect Speed, I actually have not been using my Nano Mister, but this Nano Mister is from Amazon, so I will link it below if you guys like a Nano Mister. And then we have my little mini air conditioning. We have iPads. We have the blue tape. These are my sticky dots. My license. And then I have some hand sanitizer. We have the foam tape. I do actually like this, however, I don't think it works on every client, but this is the Juicy Cleanser. I was liking it at the beginning of the year and I kind of just went back to what I was doing before. Also, excuse my nails. I'm not really sure why my thumb keeps peeling. Ugh, super annoying. And then this is the um, Ruth, Ruthie Bell. I don't know how you say that. The Super Bonder, you put it on after you have applied the lashes, like when you are all done with the set and it's supposed to make your set last longer. How do I put this back in here? Hold on, you guys. Um, I'll talk about it in another video. Um, we'll do like a little review. And then we have the humidity. So today it's 30, about 33% humidity in here, which isn't bad for my glue. I did still use my um, Perfect Speed today just to be safe. We still have a sticky dot on the back of my hand. Okay, so moving on to the second shelf. This is where I keep all my lash trays, my um, stuff for microblading. These little like trays, I guess, are from the dollar store. They come in a bunch of colors. I did just have like a little drawer thing in here, but it wasn't working for my life. So um, this actually works a lot better. I can see everything that I have. Um, so we have some whiplash lashes in here. Most of these are whiplash, but we do have some um, lash anarchist and we have some lash galore in here and we have some lash balm in here because I do like to play with other lashes. Um, my tweezers that I've been loving are the Lash Anarchist ones. Um, one, they're pink and super cute, but also I love them for making fans. Um, and then I just have some extra stuff over here. 
Um, and then, like I said, all of my microblading equipment or really just like extras. <laughs> Now on the last shelf, this shelf is the one that I have a really hard time keeping organized. So we have your regular iPads. These are black iPads for all of your blonde haired clients. And we have the Lash Lift. This little doohickey keeps all of my blades for safety purposes when I am done doing some brows. This cute little mirror with a Dear Lash Love sticker on the back is from Amazon as well. We have gloves for microblading. We have some spoolies and lip wands. We have a, um, um, excuse me, sir. Oh, okay. No, this is mom's cart, hello. This is some numbing cream. We have some blades, extra iPads. Um, these are some cords for all of my doohickeys. We have uh, some cotton rounds, uh, magnifying glasses that I actually don't wear. I always keep a little charging cord for my clients. And then I have my back here. Ooh, these are my um, filters for my mask. And we have some spare glue rings. You know, we have it all down here. Okay, so that <laughs> completes my uh, cart tour. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know it wasn't like super informational, but honestly, it's super basic. Um, this cart is from michaels um, but i know that you can get them on amazon and you can get them from ikea so i would say firstly starting out honestly this right here is what you need like this whole really not the whole top area your barber side and this whole thing what i keep in here is what you need you need your spoolies you need your lip wands glue rings possibly if that's how you're <laughs> operating you need your glue remover your um, primer and then this is just honestly I'll do a whole video on it but literally it's great um, your fan iPads your tape sticky dots and then your lashes that's all you really need super easy setup I hope you guys enjoyed that little cart tour I hope that was helpful and I hope that you guys um, got some good information out of it it's honestly really easy. There's nothing too crazy on my cart. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you have any other questions on how to start your lash business or there's any other videos that you would like to see on starting your lash business, then definitely leave me a comment below. Don't forget to like this video so other lash artists like you can see this video. And also, if you're new, I would love to have you subscribed. I post weekly videos about lashing. Thanks so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Hey Lash Babes, don't forget to subscribe to the Whiplash YouTube channel so you can see more videos like this. And also to see the last video, click this watch more link.